defense cuts that we're talking about would affect more than just our military readiness, of course. One small business owner testifying today before the House Armed Services Committee. That's going to happen in the next hour. And she is set to explain the effects of these cuts on her company. Her name is Della Williams. She is the CEO of Williams Pyro. Her company manufactures test equipment for weapon systems. And she's testifying today to put really a face and a name uh, on the impact of these cuts. Mrs. Williams, welcome. Good to have you here this morning. Good morning, Martha. Good to be here. So what would be the impact of these cuts? Because we've talked a lot about military readiness, but it also is going to affect a lot of companies like yours. What would be the impact on your company? Yes, ma'am. It will affect us greatly. We're already seeing a slowdown on contracts, contracts not being funded. We were working on particular items that uh, funds have just frozen up, and it will have a huge impact. I do a lot of uh, our own uh, research and development. I fund it myself, and I'm very concerned that all of this is going to come to a halt because I'm not going to be able to afford these um, engineers and, and the people that support this particular area in my business because uh, they're, they're very uh, talented people, they're very qualified people, they've gone, they have engineering degrees, some of them even masters mm -hmm. and higher degrees. So uh, it's, it will impact us severely. You know, what do you say to those who, you know, we were just listening to Harry Reid and the sequestration would also impact a number of discretionary and non-discretionary programs in the, in the U.S. government. Uh, you know, what do you say to those who look at the defense industry and say, well, you know, there probably are areas where they, where they could cut back, where they could be leaner, where they could be, you know, more efficient. What do you say to that? Well, I, I would not uh, agree with that at all. I mean, I think that 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 is absolutely not true because, uh, yes, there has been some waste, but at the same time, we're, we're leaving ourselves vulnerable. We're going to lose the uh, capabilities of these people that have worked in the defense industry. And just as we have seen that there are no longer uh, the uh, tool and die makers and, and the various people that were trained, uh, aerospace workers and what have you, they'll be leaving the industry and we won't be able to get that back. We won't be able to flip a switch and turn it back on. Do you it, expect it just won't happen. That you would have to have layoffs in your company as a result of this? Yes, ma'am, and I don't want to do that because I have people who have families, mm -hmm. uh, you know, children. How are you going to sit at the table and tell your child, I lost my job today? Uh, we have, uh, you know, our suppliers that, that uh, are showing that they are very concerned about what is happening. They're calling us up now. We've never seen this before, mm -hmm. where they're calling us up and saying, hey, do you see anything on the horizon? Do you see anything that uh, is coming down the pike? What, mm -hmm. What's happening here? Right. Right. And they are so concerned. You know, before I let you go, you, you founded this company. It's an extraordinary yes. success story, uh, and you started Thank it you. back in the 60s and basically shepherded it uh, into the company that it's become. I'm curious what you think yeah. about the president's recent comments about business builders and people who, uh, you know, are entrepreneurs and started their own business and that, you know, that although they may think they're smart, they have to recognize that they didn't get there on their own. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that? Well, uh, I didn't see those people anywhere, Martha, when I was down there at night on weekends, holidays. I had my children with a, a nanny as I was down there working night and day. I never saw those people, so, and I was on a very busy thoroughfare, so my building was visible, and no one ever came like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I totally disagree. Mm. All right. Della Williams, thank you. Uh, very nice to have you with us today.